All right, uh, welcome. And uh, today I'm going to create a video on um, uh, looking through a volume. And in this particular case, I want to walk you through how I look through a volume on a patient and what we're looking for. And uh, specifically, uh, I want to showcase a couple of things I saw on the right hand side. So, you know, one of the first things I'll do when a patient comes in is I'll run through our volume in the axial mode here. I, I personally like working through the axial mode. And what I'll notice here is we have a little bit of a thickening on the left sinus there. Um, and then more so here on the right hand side and again you can see it right there as well we can also see a you know minor deviation there nothing overly be concerned about but then I start really seeing some more thickening um, on this right maxillary sinus uh, we can see again also on the left sinus but more so here on the right and then I as I'm going through I also notice that there's a infection or residual infection on to, which works out to be tooth number three here. So my question in this particular case, and then we can also see quite a bit of infection here on the upper left hand side. Uh, we know that's associated with teeth. But my question is, is that infection in the sinus, is this infection right here associated with this particular tooth right here? So one of the things I'll do then is then what I will do is I'll come in and look closely here at uh, tooth number three and I'll kind of center this in there and, and I'll walk, th I'll, I'll literally walk through the tooth and so now we're in the distal site uh, where tooth number two used to be and now we're walking through, walking through and what I'm looking for, what I'm seeing here right now is that this infection right now is limited to just this area right here it's not communicating into the sinus and so far that's what we're seeing right here so my initial guess right now is this is not necessarily related uh, to the sinus but again I'm gonna keep walking through walking through walking through and again as you can see right here there's a distinct border between the sinus and the infection uh, so I continue to walk through walk through walk through and then suddenly when you take a really really close look you can see right here there's a break in the sinus and right here there is not so more than likely some of the sinus infection is related to this break in the sinus so you can see again right here is our break and then we can see that there's a potential that much of this area could be caused by this tooth. So this would lead me to an ICD or medical diagnosis code of periapical with sinus involvement because it is going into the sinus and then this would lead me to want to consider a, a, a treatment uh, doing some type of treatment for this tooth here okay so again and here in the uh, what I call the buccal lingual view or the tangential view again right here as you take a look you can not you can see that it does not communicate with the science but as you go through suddenly just right there you can see suddenly that there's a break in the sinus just like that okay so I always want to keep an eye on these things and then personally when I see that happening I want to consider a retreatment uh, or endodontic therapy but in this case it would be a retreatment because uh, um, and honestly it may be that there's a missed canal here to be quite honest with you so let's take a look at that a little bit closer and the reason I say that there may be a missed canal is in fact there is so let's go ahead and get rid of these yellow lines uh, they don't disappear uh, but right here I can clearly see a missed canal right there so uh, I can see a missed canal right here so uh, I would say that retreatment and then I question whether or not the palatal root is completely filled in this particular case as well so it looks like the palatal root may be a hair short because we can continue to see that canal right through there and then as we go here we can see that canal there so just wanted to share with you some of the things that we're seeing and how we can utilize the technology and again you can see over here we got a a bit of a disaster going on on the upper left hand side you can see that we have a bit of a disaster going on with tooth number 19 
Uh, so and a defect right there uh, on the lower left hand side. Uh, so these are the things that we're looking at in these cases and this leads to significant um, uh, medical billing codes and I uh, want to give you some idea on that. If you have more questions on medical billing or looking for hands-on medical billing training, uh, including reviewing some CT scans and things, I highly encourage you to consider attending our hands-on workshops here in Raleigh, North Carolina. Um, and if you need more information on that, just visit our website, www.3d-dentist.com. Thank you very much.